I've got a big announcement. Welcome to HD Designed Crochet, HDDC. I'm Heather, the designer of Granny Square Patterns for my tribe. I went from corporate lawyer being told what to do to full-time self-employed crochet designer doing what pleases my soul. Now, I also champion Yarny Creatives just like you to build income streams from your passion. Join me on my mission to change the world one crochet pattern at a time. Hey tribe, welcome back to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about the granny square and for the crochet designer. Oh, I've got a big announcement. You've all been waiting for this announcement. I can finally tell you that baby Taylor is here. I am recording this in real time. I'm no longer pregnant. Let me, let me prove. Baby's here, outside. I want to introduce you to my baby. His, and yes, it's a boy, I let slip in the other video. Because I edited that vlog way after baby arrived, I didn't even realize that I'd used the pronouns because everyone in my real life knows because he, baby Taylor, has been here for seven weeks now. His name is Teddy, Teddy Ray Taylor, and it's just magical. He looks really shiny. Oh. I'm so proud of myself and of Brad for getting through this pregnancy, for enduring high premises, for how determined I've been and now he's here. Don't get me wrong, the first few weeks were so, so difficult. Um, I had a tricky labour, I'm not going to be going into all of that, maybe at a later date but not, not right now and it meant that I had some recovery time and I was struggling to hold baby because of the muscle loss and just the devastation that high premises has done to my body so you see me smiling now but I just want to make it clear that it has been difficult so if you're a new mum don't compare to what you're seeing now there has been a lot of tears but also I just love being a mummy like oh, his little hands and his little feet and hmm. so that is my announcement baby Teddy Taylor 
is here. And I just want to thank every single one of you that supported me, not only whilst I was pregnant, but also that has been messaging me whilst I've been on maternity leave. Thank you so, so much. It's been really, really heartwarming and kind of you because you've wanted to know about my new arrival. Now, I, of course, have been working on granny squares whilst pregnant and since Teddy's been here, because what else would I do? Um, so I actually have two patterns to share with you. This is the first one. It is called Arrival and it is a baby blanket. <laughs> it is completely made out of granny squares. I used a 4.5 mil hook. They are three round granny squares joined together using the continuous join as you go method for the third round. And then I created my own border using scraps of the colours that are in every single granny square. And I have done this 13 by 11 squares, or actually it should be, I actually did this one a little bit smaller, but the cut size is 13 by 11 squares. I think I might have shown you this one before, but if not, take it all in. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It has got pops of colour in there. I've used all different colours. Um, I did know what Teddy's gender was going to be, but I decided that I was going to be using all colours for his blanket. And the second blanket that I've completed, I actually did this one when Teddy arrived. I just needed something mindless to work on. So this came out. This blanket is called Heart Warmer. This pattern I have named Heart Warmer. I think it's going to be heart warmer, heart warming, heart felt, heart full. I like heart warming, heart warmer. It's been very heart warming, warming. The heart warming messages. This is heart warmer. And I, did I just see an end? No, I didn't. No. I craved oranges whilst pregnant with Teddy. I would eat a bag of oranges a day. So I had to make this heart out of pretty much orange shades because fun fact, the orange has not stopped. It's now like my favorite color. Um, I've got a lot of clothing, so many different things in orange. I had to have this for him. And again, I did the same border using, there's a bit of an end there, using the colors that are in the heart. So I've made this one in the first couple of weeks when Teddy was born and I made this one during my maternity leave before he arrived, um, ready for my new arrival. And then I actually put together a pink version of Arrival for a baby family friend who's having a little girl. And then that little girl has got a cousin who is about six or seven months older who also wanted one so that it would match. So I've started another one. Well, let me show you. In here is the second highly pink version of Arrival. Only this one I'm putting together with a glitter pink. Now I know there was quite a bit of concern that I wouldn't get any crochet time once Teddy arrived. It's so cute and amazing to finally be using his name because Brad and I named him before I was even pregnant. We knew that if we had a son he would be Teddy and that's because I have a lot of uh, great granddads and granddads great great hmm. best way to say that two times great and great granddads 
that had the name Edmund or Edward and so they were either Ned's or Teddy and I just love Teddy and so we decided to give him that as his name and then Ray was um Brad's granddad's name he was Raymond and so we used Ray so he's Teddy Ray Taylor and he's so so heartwarming and amazing to be able to share his name with you now because for so long we just kept saying baby Taylor to ourselves so we wouldn't slip up when we were around people and now I can finally say I have a son his name's Teddy I know some of you were a little concerned that I wouldn't have any time to crochet. Fear not, I have time. Granny squares don't take much time at all. So I already had a bag of centers and what I've done is I've got a bag of yarn down there of different colors and I've just been putting the second rounds onto loads of granny squares and then joining it together. Um, and then what I do is I will pick a few up and I will just do like five or 10 granny squares and then I'll maybe add a row or half a row here and there when I can. And you will be surprised at how quickly 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there throughout the day really do add up. I got this done when Teddy was like a couple of weeks old and I would just make a granny square and put it to one side and then I started doing the colourful ones and joining them together bit by bit it started to grow and then um, we went on a car journey somewhere can't even remember where we went but on a car journey I wove in the ends oh I have seen an end those pesky things and honestly 10 minutes here and there really really adds up if you can do that four times in a day you've spent 40 minutes crocheting if you can do that eight times in a day you found 80 minutes to crochet you can get a lot done in that time it's not the same it's not the same as sitting there for like an entire morning and crocheting but if i'm honest with myself i didn't really do that much anyway because it would hurt my wrists or there was other things i need to do and hello i just had nine months of vomiting out of my nose so I wasn't getting a whole lot done anyway. So now it's just amazing. Oh, I need to tell you about this. Also, I've done this one. I did a four ply version of the heart. I think I might need to count up how many granny squares I have made since I went on maternity leave because it must be nearing I don't know, I'll count it up and let you know how many granny squares do you think I have made whilst on maternity leave so far and how many will I have made by the time I return? So, yarn, I feel like I'm really far away. So, yarn, let me quickly tell you, this is Drops Sock Yarn and this is it's called atomic kiss or atomic strawberry and it's by an indie dyer but it didn't have the label on so i'm not sure who it's by but i thought that was really cute and i have started to weave the ends in and i thought that maybe i could make this into a wall hanging or a cushion because that would look cute this one all of the different shades are from various shops so i know that that's a hobby craft yarn i know that this is from um, Yorkshire Tree. Basically, these yarns have come from Yorkshire, Yorkshire Traders, B&M, The Pound Shop, um, stuff that I've had in stash for years, Hobbycraft. And then the joining colour is cream and it's from The Pound Shop. And this is all a double knit yarn. And his second blanket, well, the first one I made him, is also joined in the cream from the pound shop. And again, it's all random yarn that I've got in stash from all the different places that I get yarn from. So Sainsbury's, Wilkinson's, Lovecraft's, um, Wool Warehouse, Hobbycraft, don't know if I'm repeating myself, um, various colours from the pound shop 
various colours from Yorkshire Traders, B&M, HomeSense, anywhere I go that I see has got double knit yarn, I just pick up whatever shades I don't have so that I can make kaleidoscope blankets like this. Teddy is so, so precious and I feel so blessed to be a mum. His name actually means God's gift and he really has brought my family together as well. So I'm just, I'm just very happy and very content. And I wanted to just add in a little note here to explain that I've made the decision that I won't be showing Teddy's face on my social media for a whole host of reasons. And I know that some people will and won't understand and some will and won't agree but ultimately that's a decision that I've come to. Main reason being is that as my account grows more and more people are following me and although I know that you are all lovely and that you all mean so well for us all, I also know there's a darker side to the whole wide world web when it comes to trolling and it comes to just unsolicited nasty behavior and so for me it's very important as a mama bear I just want to protect my baby I don't want him to have a social media footprint before he even makes his own footprints in the world and so I've made the decision that I won't be showing his face that's for him to choose to do when he's older but don't worry you still will be seeing bits of our life and him growing up and you'll very much know all about him and I know that you're all going to love him just as much as me although I'm his mummy I love that I'm a mummy I've done it he's here thank you so tribe that is my announcement baby Teddy is here he has two crochet blankets fun little fact he also runs his body at the same temperature as his dad. His dad wears shorts 365 days a year and doesn't like to be warm. So these blankets aren't really going to get a whole lot of use. But I live in hope that in the winter, I will be able to put them over my baby and he will be appreciative of the homemade warmth. <laughs> um, and I'm still busily making granny squares. I am working on all of the things and I feel happy, so much healthier and so content. And I hope that you are as excited about Teddy as I am. Comment below with which blanket you really want to make. Is it heart warmer, which is this one? Or is it arrival? I plan on writing both of the patterns up and releasing them as free patterns because they are straightforward granny square patterns. Anyone can make them based off the information I've given you, but it's also nice to have them as a little pattern. So when that will be, I don't know. Also, I'm sure you're all wondering, how am I going to deal with having a newborn and running a business? We'll talk all about that in another vlog because I want to keep this one super short and super sweet and just focus basically on the fact that Teddy's here. Um, and then when will my maternity leave be ending? I will be returning, kind of returning. It's a really grey area because my job is also my hobby. So when I post to social media, I'm not like doing it because it's my job. I'm doing it because I genuinely love to crochet and I want to show you what I'm working on. But I did decide to take a social media break so I could step back, really focus on me and Teddy. So I will be returning to my social media after August this year, 2022. Um, but in terms of actually putting out products and patterns, that is all to be confirmed. I'm in no huge rush. I'm really enjoying a slow pace of life at the moment. So once everything is ready, you will be seeing all of that. So I actually have a free guide on granny squares, all of my information on granny squares, how I make them, how I select my colors. I know that's a huge question I get asked. Um, how I weave in the ends and how I join them all together and loads of in-depth stuff on the colors. So how do I pick out the colours for these blankets and how do I make it look like they have been just thrown together when they really haven't been like I carefully select 
um and then also these two free patterns and then on top of that i've been working on other granny square patterns because i just can't help myself i love a granny square so thank you so much for watching tribe comment below with which blanket you can't wait to make yourself and teddy myself brad and albie will see you soon take care bye